On April 20th, marijuana enthusiasts here in West Hollywood and across the country celebrate 420, the quasi-official day dedicated to dank nugs. This year, it also coughs smoke in the face of Attorney General Jeff Sessions, who's waging a war on weed, even though according to the CDC, there were over 64,000 drug overdose deaths in 2016. While 20,000 of them were from synthetic opioids, none of them were from marijuana. Even harsher is the fact that the DEA categorizes marijuana as a Schedule I drug, which means it's considered to be highly addictive and deemed as having no medical use. This is debatable seeing that many patients living with HIV and AIDS use cannabis to combat symptoms like pain, nausea, and loss of appetite. That's why the city of West Hollywood implemented a compassion program, which requires WeHo dispensaries to provide subsidized cannabis for low-income patients. In celebration of 420 and WeHo's compassion program, we're taking a field trip to the Apple Store dispensaries, MedMen, for this month's Mic Drop. <laughs> We are here at MedMen, the Apple store of weed, to talk to its co-founder, Andrew Maudlin, as he puff puff passes us some info about WeHo's Compassionate Care Program. Let's check it out. How old were you when you first tried weed? I first tried weed when I was, I think, 18. Yeah. And uh, got into having our first dispensary probably when I was about 23, 24. Of these seven locations you have in California, why did you choose West Hollywood for one of them? Well, I always wanted to do a dispensary in West Hollywood because personally I love West Hollywood. I've lived here for a very long time now and it's the best city in the world. Andrew and his fellow weed enthusiasts have good reason to love WeHo. In 1996, West Hollywood was one of the earliest supporters of Prop 215, aka the Medical Use of Marijuana Initiative. And while the DEA refuses to acknowledge the medical benefits of cannabis, numerous studies support the effectiveness of weed in treating pain, nausea, and loss of appetite. Symptoms common to the estimated 2,500 West Hollywood residents living with HIV or AIDS. That's why the city of West Hollywood implemented a compassion program, requiring its dispensaries to provide subsidized marijuana for low-income patients. So, what do we got over on that wall? So over on that wall we have topicals, tinctures, vaginal suppositories. Hold up, did you just say suppositories? Okay, so what can WeHo citizens do to help the... Um, mainstream of weed. Probably mainly just who you vote for federally and you know making sure the right people in place that share those types of liberal values. While West Hollywood celebrates the accessibility of marijuana, some view it as a threat, specifically Attorney General Jeff Sessions. Earlier this year, Sessions rescinded Obama-era policies that allowed states to legalize marijuana with minimal federal interference. Meaning, dispensaries could once again be targeted for DEA raids, like the one in 2007. Right now our Attorney General is, for some illogical reason, waging a war on weed. Are you afraid down the line that he might start targeting California, or somehow his horrible policies might start affecting MedMen? You know, I think it would just be so difficult for him at this point. You know, over 64% of Americans are in favor of marijuana. So, looking into the future, where do you see MedMen going? Well, MedMen's goal is to mainstream marijuana, which to me means being everywhere to give people the same types of products with the same type of quality and the same type of convenience. But to do that, WeHo's cannabis community needs to get out and vote, which means getting as excited for election day as you are for 420.